We are so excited. We've got one day at a time for you today. No, oh, we sure do. We've got two of our big stars sitting right here next to us. We are so excited. We're going to get all the scoop on their past, their present, and their future. Of course, the one and only Mackenzie Phillips Hi. is joining us here. You recognize this guy right next to her. I call him Mr. Sedona, uh, but yeah. Glenn Scarpelli yeah. is here oh. with a little one day at a time reunion right here in our Sonora Living set. And we reunion all the time, Glenn I and I, but it's do. so great to do it here with you guys. 40 Welcome. years you yeah. two have 40 been years. Oh. I know, four or something years, <laughs> actually. And you know, it's so wonderful because when I grew up, I had two TV sisters, Valerie Burton and Mackenzie Phillips, and now in my 50s, I have two more TV sisters, <laughs> Susan Casper and Terry Olette. Oh, and I'm, I'm a little jealous. I, I know, <laughs> right? Nobody talks about you all the time. Yes, don't you yes, worry. yes. Don't you worry. All right, I want to go back because you know what? We all grew up watching One Day at a Time, uh -huh. and I know everybody in our green room here this morning is like, oh my gosh, okay, there tell we us are. what's happening. Tell us about this moment that we're looking at. Well, this was a very special okay. moment. Yeah. yeah, this was a special moment because Mackenzie, of course, with a very public Here's drug addiction, yes. was fired from the show and then returned to the show. This is the moment. That is the moment. And my character had been added. I was adopted. Alex was adopted by the Romano family. And this was the moment that Julie met Alex. I love this. Wow. So this was the first time we ever acted together, Mac. And you know what was really interesting is that at this time, Glenn was a little kid to me. Right? Yeah, right. And Look at so that face. then oh. Oh, uh, through the years, <laughs> as we both sort of aged, Matured. Appropriate, matured. We uh, matured. It's been like he never gave up on me. Aww. He never gave up on me, and I wasn't great at communicating. But he'd call me and he'd go, "Hey, I'm in town," and I was like, "Yeah, go great. I'll talk to you soon." And then uh, we we have really been extremely close friends for many I years now. That. What I, I loved too. about this show as well, you were dealing with your own addictions, your own demons, but this show was never afraid to take those taboo topics and put it in front mm. of us. Yeah, I remember sure. thinking as a little, you know, when I was watching it going, oh, I don't Ooh, think I could be brave enough to say <laughs> that. Right? Was that. You losing your virginity. Exactly. Uh, was you know, that what appealed to you about the script? I was 15 years old. I mean, what appealed to me was working with Norman Lear. Yes. You know, yeah. uh, you know, Norman being Norman and still going strong at 96 years old. But at the time, he and still he, the man is a visionary, and to be able to, you know, work with him and, and continue to work with him on the new one day at a time. That's crazy. I mean, look, look at look, look at, at us through the years Norman. with Norman. I mean, we really we have Norman to thank for all of this. Yeah. yeah. He and, was the genius behind it all. And, and, and it's a reprieve happening now on Netflix? Yes, it's a reimagining of One Day at With a Time. With Rita Moreno as yeah. one of the stars. She's wow. incredible. And Justina Machado and Todd Grinnell. And it's just an incredible cast. And I get to play a therapist on the show, which is <laughs> odd. Uh, but uh, it's it's so much fun. Look, there we there are. There we with are the with the cast. entire cast. Wow. So McKen right now, season three is available on Netflix. And I would like to uh, encourage everybody to watch season three of one, of one Day at a Time. Oh, well, so that we can have a season. And four yes, because right. Netflix is picky. Well, if you're oh, yeah. if, well, if you're a fan, you're a fan. Yeah. I mean, you're a fan for life. It's Definitely. a great, it's, a great it's show. such a wonderful show. I think it's some of the best writing on. Glenn television. has a cameo on. Season I did a cameo three. in season three. That's what we were just looking at. Mackenzie came to the taping of that show. We weren't on the same episode. Aww. But Mackenzie has a recurring role on the show. I yeah. love this. And, and you're so busy, both of you. We're going to talk about what you're doing together. But Mackenzie, you're on Orange is the New Black. I know. <laughs> I'm on Orange is the New Black. I play a crazed killer inmate, like like a crazy person. That's so basically fun. it's typecasting. Yes, basically. exactly. <laughs> Look, there I am doing fake drugs you, on the show. You're doing you, huh? Yeah, it She's so fun. good on this show, everybody. It was Check really fun. It, out. it was really fun. I love wow. this. Wow. And, and of course, oh, you guys. Oh, there we go. No, gonna, look at that. Yeah. That is amazing. Now, is that something Perfect. fun for you? I enjoyed it immensely. I enjoyed the challenge. It was great to be, you know, to be able to be that very dark person who has resentments and and evil doing, you know, without mm -hmm. any real consequences to me. <laughs> right? You, know? you can walk away at the end of the day and be exactly. you, and, and be sober and, and be yeah. me and be yeah. gainfully employed at Breathe Life Healing Center. Yes. You know, and have a fantastic life. But to be able to create 
this darkness and then uh, be grateful for the light. And I want to talk about the Breathe, Breathe Light Healing Center very quickly because that is something that is now your life's work and something that you're passionate about. And what I and I've, I've read um, your your second book. It's it is uh, you are a natural born healer teacher. Thank yes, you. Yes. I, uh, I uh, hopeful healing. The title came out of my my uh, personal mission, which is I am hopeful to ha mm. be a part of the healing of people who suffer from complex trauma and substance use disorders. Uh, so that is my life's mission, working at Breed Life Healing Center yes. in West Hollywood, California. And it is a beautiful, I mean, some places say they, they treat mind, body, spirit. We, we really do. Yes. And it's a beautiful program, so. Oh, well, ah, and I thank you for doing that work. because it, it, you're changing the lives of so many people. And you always have. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you that. Thank um, you. You guys stick around, okay? We're going to get caught up. Um, season three, one day of one day at a time, is now streaming on Netflix. So watch it. Watch okay? it. It's really important. <laughs> it's so <laughs> good. We have season four. And they are not going anywhere. When we come back, we're going to talk about their new project, McKinsey and Glenn. They have done a wonderful, wonderful movie together. We're going to see a little bit of that. Terry and I had a chance to see it. It's perfect. Oh. And we're going to dish about it on the other side of this break.